Hey everyone, it has been a long time. Happy New Year. Yes, it's now 2019. Um, my channel has changed. I decided to use my name instead of Black Pearl's Place. Um, Black Pearl's Place may show back up in another video or, you know, something else, but... Right now, um, I am in my truth, and um, I want you all to get to know me a little bit better. This is not your typical get-to-know-me type of video. This is not about fun, and this is not about getting um, likes or getting new subscribers. It's about connecting to other individuals that go through what I go through. It's about um, talking and communicating with each other. Um, we don't do that. As a people, we don't do that. Um, we're good at fighting each other. We're good at killing each other. We're good at hating each other, but we don't connect. We don't help each other. We're like crabs in a bucket. <laughs> that old saying, you know, we hate to see another person successful. So we try to drag them down, pull them down. And, you know, we're all fighting to get to the top when we should be supporting each other. I mean, it just doesn't make sense for us as black people i mean we've been through hell is not even strong enough of a word to describe what we've been through as a people and here it is 2019 and we're still going through it except we're going through it more with each other that's not what this video is about i did not want to get on my soapbox so this video is going to be about child abuse. Um, I chose this subject because I want to kind of start early with my journey. I want to start early, you know, with my life. Um, so I have three sisters, no brothers. Um, my mom and my dad, they were married before they had any children. So um, they were your, I guess, typical American dream type of family. But there were a lot of demons within the relationship from my experience of growing up with my mom and dad. My father was... Um, military. He was in the Marines, worked his way up, ranked up to sergeant. I know he was like military police and all that stuff. And I kind of wanted to um, do the same thing as I was growing up, but that's a totally different subject. We'll discuss why I didn't go into the military on another video. But I just wanted to focus on when I was a little girl and um, I watched my mom and, and my dad physically fight all the time. I didn't necessarily uh, see my dad fight my mom. I saw my mom fight my dad. Um, she was always throwing stuff and, you know, grabbing a knife, trying to stab him and, you know, whatever she can get her hands on. Um that's how she would fight my dad. She fought dirty. And my mom is from Mississippi. I don't recall the city right now, but she grew up in the cotton fields. Um, she grew up with prejudice and racism. And I know she had a hard life because when I tried to discuss it with her, she gets angry like physically fighting mad angry which leads to the subject of child abuse um 
my mom physically and verbally abused three of her children three out of the four um my youngest sister she doesn't look like my two older sisters now the three of us were three beautiful chocolate women and then you have my youngest sister who's um considered to be light-skinned um yeah that's another subject but getting back to um the subject at hand my mom i'm 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 almost positive she had to be abused in order for her to be so fucking violent with us i mean she used to like club and be about the streets her and her sisters and her brothers um i know my uncles um used to make moonshine so they all drank heavily my mom it was 12 of them um my grandma had 12 children by my granddad and my granddad had a whole plethora amount of other children he had a whole another freaking family down the street from what i heard um but again that's another video man i got a lot of stuff to say but um the physical abuse was real guys i mean i did not have a normal childhood um we were always getting beat up by my mom i don't ever recall being hit by my dad i recall my mom chasing him and hitting him and trying to stab him and running him out of the house and because he was military, he couldn't deal with that, you know. Um, so, because my mom was so physically and verbally abusive, he left us. I don't think it was by choice. And honestly, to keep it real, I think my youngest sister is probably the straw that broke the camel's back. Um... I don't think my youngest sister is my father's child. And no, there's nothing funny about it, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, yeah, she she barely looks like us. I mean, she favors us because, you know, we all have the same mom. But yeah, she has a different father. I know that for a fact. No one has ever admitted to it, but... I'd be willing to put some money on it. Anyway, um, I don't recall my mom really physically abusing my youngest sister. Um, my youngest sister always, she was always treated better. Um, she was the pretty one. Um, we were always, at least I was told from her that I'm black, I'm ugly, I got a big ass gap. I ain't never going to be shit. Nobody's going to ever want me. And all I had to do was walk by her. And she slapped the shit out of me for no reason. I mean, she used to drag me out of the bed. We used to have bunk beds. And I love sleeping at the top because I felt like she couldn't get to me if I was on the top bunk but oh baby she got to me she used to pull me from the top bunk by my hair meaning she grabbed me by my hair out of the top bunk bed and i hit the floor head first she would grab a board um hangers extension cords <laughs> broomsticks Whatever she can get her goddamn hands on, that's what she used on us. And it was child abuse. It was child abuse. 
And you know, we got beat for crying from the pain of the extension cords and everything. So it was like, you're in pain, you're screaming and hollering for help, but there's nobody to help you because everybody is scared shitless of her. We couldn't run away to the neighbors because she would find us at the neighbor's house and beat us there. My sister over me used to run away a lot. She actually dropped out of school in seventh grade and, and began prostituting to take care of herself. I remember that. My sister only has a seventh grade education. I don't think my mom even has that much of an education because she was in the cotton fields, remember? So I'm trying to make this story short because I want us to talk about this. Um, but yeah, I was physically and verbally abused by my mom really, really bad. And there was no sharing it. And you know what her excuse was when I tried to talk to her about it? She was like, your motherfucking ass should be glad I kept y'all here. Y'all should be happy. I even thought enough to keep y'all. I could have let the state take care of y'all. And you know what? In my head, because I dare not say anything back to my mother, but in my head, I was like, I wish the fucking state would have taken us. Maybe we wouldn't be so fucked up mentally. I suffer from PTSD, high anxiety, depression in the back of my head. I can always hear my mom's voice. You're black, you're ugly. Ain't nobody gonna want you. You got a big ass gap. You ain't shit. You're dumb. You're stupid. You ain't gonna never be shit. That's all I grew up hearing. I never had friends because back in the day, being dark skinned with a big nose, big lips, and a big gap was not the thing to be. I was joned and talked about. So imagine being physically and mentally abused at home and in public. In school, I did a lot of fighting. Wasn't by choice. That's all I knew. That's all I knew how to do. So when somebody would try to break me down in school or put their hands on me, I would whoop ass like nobody's business. No, I wasn't a bully, but I didn't take shit. And I fought both girls and boys, even in high school. I did not care. I learned how to whoop ass because my mom whooped my ass. But moving on a little bit uh, further, this is a deep conversation. <laughs> um, when I had my daughter, um, and I'll tell you all a little bit more about me, um, when I was in high school, I was raped. And my oldest daughter is a product of rape. And, whoo, yeah, we need to talk about this, people. I, I don't even know if I can go any further with this video, but uh, let's just say um, when I had my daughter, all I knew was how to be like my mom, physically and verbally abusive. So I physically and verbally abused my oldest daughter and she hates me to this day. It's 2019. I can't tell you where she lives. I have no phone number on her. She has me blocked on social media. And I physically and verbally abused her all the way up until 
she was 10 years old. And for some reason, when she reached the age of 10, I experienced what Oprah would say, an aha moment. It's like something clicked. And I actually saw the pain that I was inflicting on my own flesh and blood. And I felt that same pain that I was forcing on her. And oh my gosh, when I finally, finally understood what I was doing, I, I still suffer from this day. From that, my life has been extremely traumatic, and I take medication for it daily, day and night. Trust me, I do. It's um, an everyday battle. Um, If you ever see this video, daughter of mine, you already know I've apologized a million times for what I did to you. And I've been trying to make up for it ever since. But I can't take it back. But I did change. I did change because I learned how to change. I didn't know how because I didn't have any guidance. I didn't have a female role model to tell me that's wrong what you're doing. All I had was my mother who was fucked up and she fucked us up <laughs> as women. She had all girls and we're all fucked up. Nope. Let me take that back. Let me take that back because I'm not going to accept that. I used to be fucked up. I'll say that. Um, I'm a totally different woman now. I'm a totally different woman now. I am black. I am beautiful. I am strong. And I've been through some shit. But I'm still here. I love my skin, my nose, my lips, and my gap. I love the way I walk. I love the way I talk. I love the way I carry myself. And I'll say this, and I'll end this video. I want to hear your comments. I want feedback. I want to know if any of you have experienced some of the same things. I want this video to help us talk about this because we need to talk about it. But a lot of people assume they make assumptions about me as soon as I walk through the door because I'm confident. I had to learn how to love myself. And now that I do, I'm confident with it. I'm proud of who I am. So when I walk in a room, that's what shows. The low self-esteem, abused young lady from the past, she's no longer here. And I'm not apologetic for being this strong, black, confident woman when I walk into a room. Those of you that have an issue with my confidence, you all need to get yourself together and learn how to love yourself and stop fucking hating on me. I didn't do it. There's nothing arrogant about me. Nothing arrogant about me. I am the way I am and I carry myself the way that I do because my mom beat the shit out of me.
if I didn't look a certain way before we walked out of the door. I had to look like perfection every time we walked out of the door. A hair couldn't be out of place. We could not wear anything dirty, raggedy. We could not smell. So that was instilled in me. That was beat into me when I was growing up. So guess what? It's a part of who I am. And that part about me, I am unapologetic. Because I love style, I love fashion, I love beauty, and I love seeing me in it. I don't apologize for that. Now, those of you that accuse me of being stuck up and high maintenance and whatever the fuck 